Hey folks, Wrath coming at you with another video. Today, small token of appreciation to thank you all for the support. I was given four gift codes to give out as part of the content creation program. And so I'm happy to give that out to the users. So what I need you all to do is comment below in this video, your username and your UID that you can find within the settings under your personal info. Once you do, I'll do a quick poll and send those your way. If you want to add in a comment or two about what you like about so far or what other videos you want me to do, feel free. But um, yeah, I'm gonna gonna give you guys a, a gift code. There's three of the same one and then a, a bigger one. Good luck to everyone who decides to participate. Now switching gears, I want to take a couple of minutes to talk about the patch notes that were released yesterday and, and what my thoughts are around them. So straight off the bat, they announced a new wishlist recruitment event. This is, of course, featuring Dominic, Barog, and Teresh. If you're going to pick somebody, my advice would be pick Dominic first, Barog second, and Teresh third, simply because of the utility that Dominic has, and same with Barog, and then Teresh last. Also, on top of that, I would say that there's been a massive focus in the game for assassins, and so Dominique, I would say, is top two assassins in the game right now for usability. Top one, depending on, you know, if you're looking at the new SP hero, Carax here or not, but he's definitely up there. And then looking at the next bullet point here, Giant Tower, in my opinion, one of the best events in the game for pulling 80 limiteds, you effectively get two copies, right? One guaranteed and then one from the Giant Tower event. Fantastic way to get some additional Dominique copies. And so my advice there would be, if you've got 80, pull 80. I, if you've got more, you can certainly go a lot more, but I generally stop at the 80 mark and get my two copies. Quantum Mimic Machine, this is where I would say I have a controversial opinion on. I typically save, you know, two to three months worth of Quantum Mi Mimic Machine events because they do stack. And really that just comes down to the opportunity cost of if you are gonna be using those tokens to summon, you'd either wanna hit the, uh, triple s hero or the prototype that they have and then finally on the hero event or rather hero rally event that they have i normally stop at the 350 unless i've got a significant amount of advanced cards then i'll pull up to the 500 mark now i realize this feedback's a little bit different because i'm far advanced in the game if you all weren't i would definitely say skip one or two hero rally events and pull up to the either 700 or 900 mark now looking at some of the game content adjustments and optimizations, this first bullet point is absolutely something that I was hoping to get for a long time. And it's the ability to save the current lineup that you have as a formation, instead of having to do a you know, backwards action to select the heroes and add a new formation. This is fantastic because you could just do this straight off the bat. The second point is pretty self-explanatory about the time traveler heroes being not generated in the commander purification slot. But the third point is interesting here. So they added a recommendation position system for all heroes in strategy in the lineup interface. So I'm wondering actually how this works in practice, because depending on the commanders that you're using, I'm wondering if this takes the logic of the commanders into consideration or whether it would just look at potentially like tanks and vanguards being up front and then everybody else behind that so i'll do a little bit of testing and come back to this one and let you guys know and then looking at some of the bug fixes so they fixed the issue that the glowing avatar was displayed when the caraxia hero was not at full level i can't say that i've experienced this uh, second fixed the issue that was part of the mission points that could not be accumulated when challenging the boss of the calamity who had been killed in the simulation battle event okay so so that's that's good and I don't know if anyone would mind because that event has completely finished. But then this last one is interesting. They fixed an issue that Daniel's normal special effects were bound to the wrong coordinates. So that does that mean that the, the effect of his ultimate or his common skills was showing that he was hitting one area where the actuality of the hit happened in another? Hmm, that's interesting. I, I wasn't aware of this. So on that note, I'd say a minimal update that that we've seen just a couple of bug fixes and optimizations that they've added and then they're sticking to their two week cadence of where you either have a giant tower event or not pleasant surprise that they've added in a wishlist hero 
uh, event in here. I, I hope that they continue doing that for every single one. And that's it for me, folks. So put your, uh, put your UIDs down for the gift codes, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.